Hey everyone, I'm your average guy Sahil Gogna. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss Masters in Applied Computer Science offered at Dalhousie University, Halifax. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Spursh, first of all, thanks a lot for joining the call today. Hi Sahil, thanks a lot for having me here. It's, it's great to have you here, Spursh. Mm -hmm. And Spursh, before I ask you any questions about the Dalhousie University, can you please introduce yourself to the audience? So basically, I want to know your educational background and if you have any professional experience back in your home country. So can you please explain that? Uh, hi, guys. I'm Sparsh. I have done my bachelor's from GLU University, Mathura, back in India. Uh, in the third year itself, I got a PPU, that is pre-placement of, and I joined the company to then in the final year. Uh, in the final year, I completed uh, the training and internship as well from the two then uh, for the profile DevOps engineer. And once uh, my college got finished, they gave me an offer for full time. And since then, I have joined to the news at DevOps engineer. And then I joined the House University. Oh, that's great. And Spurs, uh, I'm pretty sure like you might have considered the other universities also uh, while applying for Dalhousie University. So can you please tell us like which were the other universities that you considered and why did you choose Dalhousie University? So I considered a pretty lot of universities, including Concordia, University of Windsor, Dal Bishop. Although Bishop was my final option, but uh, yeah, like I was more inclined towards go to Windsor University. But uh, when I got an offer from Windsor as well as Dalhousie, I compared them and see that Dalhousie University is far better than Windsor. First of all, because it's the best university in Atlantic province. And then the co-op, I have uh, like, uh, I have uh, talked with the previous alumni and they said that the co-op in Dalhousie University is far, far better than other universities. That's why I opted for Dalhousie University. And first, the co-op uh, program that you have mentioned. So is it like university help you to find a co-op or like what exactly do you mean by co-op period? Yeah. Uh, so when we are in the final year of the semester, like previous to the final year, the university sends us the links of the co-op opportunities that are available in the Canada. And then we have to apply it with our resume and have some interest interview and once you got selected bang on you are, you have the offer most of the companies usually if you get selected in a co-op usually gives you a full-time offer oh. so let's hoping for the best <laughs> that's pretty amazing yeah, and yeah, Spash, yeah. Uh, when you applied for this uh, Dalhousie University so what were the admission requirements I mean how was your profile your CGPA back in India and how did you mention your work experience? So basically, how did you make your overall profile to get selected uh, in the Dalhousie University? And what were the minimum uh, requirements that uh, one has to meet to get an uh, offer from Dalhousie? Uh, so basically, uh, like I've talked to many people and they said that 7 CGP or uh, 7 score in IELTS is good and says 7 CGP as well. But I've seen many students who got uh, into Dalhousie University who had less than 7 CGP in their bachelor's. Uh, according to me, it all depends upon your interview. If you crack the interview, then you will for sure get the offer for applied computer science program. And uh, uh, yeah, like uh, once I gave the interview, I was pretty sure that yeah, I, I am going to get it because the interview went smooth and I was able to answer all the... Oh, I didn't know that uh, you need to give an interview to get a, an offer from the Lhasa University because the other good universities like Concordia University or some, even the Vincent University that you have mentioned, they, I, I don't think so like for the course based masters they take the interview for the uh, admission offer right so how was uh, the interview process can you please tell us something about that uh, yep yeah, sure uh, so like there were two questions that were asked uh, which were short questions like what is deadlock and what is operating systems after that they asked me a coding question worth of I guess 10 minutes but I solved it in three minutes so like uh, the interviewer was pretty much shocked like yeah, yeah that you did in three minutes later on they asked me two debugging questions based on mm -hmm. completely on Java, although I was not comfortable working with it. But yeah, like the basic or the core logic remains same in all the language. So I was able to tell them, yeah, this is the error that we are going to face. Okay. So initially you applied for off, uh, for the admission uh, using your IELTS score, using a CGPA. You might have prepared some of the documents for a letter of recommendations, right? Once you uh, you pass this process, then you, then you appeared for an interview, right? And in interview, they asked you these much questions and then you got the final offer. So this was the whole uh, process, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and it is a lengthy process because interviews involved, but yeah, like the way it is, way it was worth 
of the time okay what was the uh, like waiting time for this whole process i mean how much time did it take you to firstly start applying for the masters in applied computer science and the time when you got your offer so how much duration was it so i applied on 19th of october and like after reviewing my applications they gave me or they schedule an interview on 12th of feb and then finally i got an offer later on 20 7th of it oh that was a pretty long process <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> all the winsor and bishop uh, straight away gave me like in one month but yeah like the lousy kept on waiting i think it might be uh, hard for you to wait like when you get an offer from a university then you are not sure whether you'll get the offer from the other university or not right so at that time rejecting those offers and to wait for the other offer i think it takes a lot of guts because i receive a lot of messages from students that they are in the same dilemma whether they should accept the offer that they have or should they wait for the better uh, university that that's they that they still are, are waiting for the offer uh yep so like university of windsor usually send me email in like four times a month but they are like uh, I, i just <laughs> to be on a safer side i just email them like i don't have any uh, funding actually events requires 2000 cad okay. so i email them like uh, i am not able to pay it right now so i need some time so i keep on extended and extended until i receive the telos university of oh that's a good hack i think students should realize <laughs> yeah. this thing <laughs> <laughs> and suppose if we talk about your fees for this program so how much are you paying for this program and is there in scope of scholarship and i'm i'm pretty sure like you are doing the course based masters right so what's the yeah. uh, scope of scholarship in this to my fees is for masters is 40000 card but uh, let's see on the scholarship i don't think you get a scholarship on for course based program mm-hmm. uh, i have seen like some students who got 4 to 5000 card but that's not enough for if the amount is 40000 card so for project based if you are opting for project based then you will definitely get a scholarship but you have to do some research write some research paper and all that and for uh, entrepreneurship scheme there is no scholarship again i guess oh, okay and in total yeah. you are paying 40000 for the whole Whole degree, right? Uh, yep, yep. And this course is ex- excluding your living cost. I think it's just the fees for the university. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you can like assume one thousand card. Uh, if you are uh, like living a lavish life, then one thousand card is sufficient for one month. And especially if we talk about the other students around you in the Dalhousie University. So, what's your experience with them? Are they all? Uh, experience in the industry like you were like you had like one one to two years of experience in industry so are uh, all the students experience or some of them are directly coming to this program after their bachelor's degree like uh, i've seen some students who have uh, experience but most of them are freshers as well so i would prefer to give uh, at least one or two years of work ex in the industry because it will open up how you have to interact with the colleagues and all that uh, but like there are many students who are also freshers and they are still pursuing my masters and and they are receiving good good grade and spurs if we yeah. talk about your current scenario i know you are doing part time job in the technical field i mean uh, you are working as a d- developer so wh- what exactly is your current profile as a part timer and how did you find it uh, so i am currently a site reliability engineer at kindak uh, which is Heli- in halifax although i am working for mobila which is the parent country of kindak uh, and i got my a uh, part time job like exploring a uh, person hr as well as connecting to the lead or the devops manager or site reliability engineer uh, site reliability manager so yeah like while connecting them they were like we are not uh, hiring part time we are only hiring full time the main issue in halifax if you are staying uh, but yeah, like eventually i got a person he said that uh, okay let's schedule an interview and see what are your skills mm-hmm. and they like took a screening interview of 30 minutes so i was comfortable and yeah like uh, any question that he asked i was i was already knowing the answer the second interview was pretty much like solid one having one hour of interview but uh, yeah like ra- like back in india what usually happens is the interview questions are how to do this or how can we achieve this but uh, here what i have seen the difference is they said i have done this and what else you can do for us 
<laughs> so at least i have to give them one or two answers for the same problem and uh, like it was a yeah, pretty but solid interview but i like eventually hope for the best and i got that so uh, they were just exploring your knowledge about different systems like how you will implement the changes and how you can add new features so were there any particular i mean the academic type of questions like uh, how will you do this or maybe uh, solve this uh, algorithm or data structure for us so did they ask anything about this part uh, no like uh, for if if you are in devops cloud field then they don't usually ask the data structures mm-hmm. some company ask for coding but yeah, like most of them don't ask for coding they ask for your networking skills uh, which was which i am pretty good at it and uh, yeah so like the main interview revolves on the networking and how do you connect this that and so on and spurs yeah. before we end our conversation any final advice to the students who are coming here to pursue their masters so the advice will be do have at least one or two years of work experience was like uh, when you're making the project then you need to know how the things happen in industry like you have to know knowledge about jira ci cd at least little bit of it because i have seen many students who did who doesn't get anything or like mm-hmm. in quiz they are like how does it happen and what how g how it like i've seen many students who asked how jira works so yeah like that's pretty much you have to at least understand how jira works and all that and second of advice is uh, if you are opting for the lousy then be prepared to have a, a hike in your uh, tuition fees as well as international fees because we had it and like it uh, increases four to five thousand cad for the next semester that's pretty much like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's hard to afford like the, this much of fees okay well i guess that's it for today's talk thanks a lot for sparing out your time and sharing your valuable experience with the viewers thank you so much thanks a lot sail have a great day so guys this was the today's video please make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel and let me know in the comment section below which other universities would you like me to explore for the applied computer science program see you in the next video till then stay safe